Peter Avalon. Oh, hey, Robbie Walker. Where's my money? <coughs> Excuse me? You know, Brian Myers got 10K just for beating your ass? If it's that easy, I definitely want in on that. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I know I'm just made of money. You're not going to get any of that money. But if it's an ass whooping you want, oh, okay. I can give you that. Oh, an ass whooping, huh? Well, if you think that you can give me an ass whooping, why don't you put that money where your mouth is and step in the ring with me? The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Carson City, Nevada, weighing 189 pounds, pretty Peter Avalon! A United Wrestling OG, original fans have called him pretty, a producer, PPA, and well, lately, Peter Avalon, they've called poor. $10,000 less in the bank account after losing not once, but twice to Brian Myers. Primetime wanted some of that money. Primetime tried to get 10 grand for Peter Avalon to face him here tonight. I guess Peter's trying, you know, save his, save face a little bit, get back in the win column. Peter wouldn't give him $10,000. Peter said, I'll give you a butt kicking instead. Well, I, I don't blame him. I mean, uh, do you want to lose $10,000? For those who are not with us, remember that Avalon suffered an embarrassing, embarrassingly quick defeat to Brian Myers, and that same night de demanded an immediate rematch, offering that 10 grand to Myers if he lost. But uh, it didn't work out the way, uh, the way the producer or the pretty one, Peter Avalon, had planned. Second time seeing primetime Robbie Walker in action here on Derby City Wrestling. Won by a DQ in his first outing, trying to get, gain a, a, a pinfall or a submission victory. But again, he is in there with somebody who is etched into the fibers of the United Wrestling Network in Peter Avalon. Uh, that's a fact. Peter a pillar. Avalon. Yeah, uh, that's a great word to put it. Uh, Peter Avalon's been everywhere, man. And I mean, it's... Uh, Robbie Walker has a home field advantage, though. We'll yeah, say that. and Walker's not going to be in, intimidated by the wrestling resume of Peter Avalon, be it on the AEW roster or, again, part of the foundation of the United Wrestling Network. Primetime doesn't back down from a fight. <laughs> he was... And Peter Avalon is on his heels. We've got to take a timeout. More action after this. You're back here in the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. Gilbert Corsi alongside 93.9 The Ville, Steve Rummage, Peter Avalon taking on primetime Robbie Walker. No, 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 no. You know, Peter Avalon a couple of weeks ago lost $10,000 in a match with Brian Myers. Ten grand is what he lost last time. And today, primetime Robbie Walker is trying to take his dignity. So he's already lost money. Now his dignity is at stake. In this match here with with Robbie Walker. Well, at, at the moment it's working. Now we'll see. I mean, listen, Peter Avalon's traveled everywhere, so I'm not ready to throw it in right now. But. For those who may need a reminder, Walker was the first student of the late great Matt Capitelli, who many will remember in Louisville for winning Tough Enough in his long, courageous battle with cancer. Walker actually hung up the boots in 2018 when Matt passed. He cover here. Walker returns now to the ring, wrestling with purpose to honor the memory of his late me mentor. Rest, 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 rest. Smart move there by Peter Avalon. Putting the referee in a position where he, she could not see. And it created a window of opportunity. 
has swung the pendulum in this contest back the other direction. That's the thing. Pretty Peter's a vet. There's yep. nothing that he has not seen in the wrestling world. <laughs> and there you're seeing the confidence in Avalon. We know all about Peter Avalon in the United Wrestling Network. Fans know he was in the very first match in championship wrestling out in California. Accolades are plenty. Red carpet win rumble winner 2015, former Hollywood Heritage TV and three-time tag team champion. You name it, Peter Avalon has done it in the United Wrestling Network. What he has not done yet is gain a victory here in Derby City Wrestling presented by Carshield. Premium seating here, Steve. Listen, Peter Avalon said you're from Louisville. You want to be out amongst the people? Let me take you out there. Taking the fight right to the people. Walker beginning to fire back, really just trying to create some distance from the press of pretty Peter Avalon here. Again, Walker 1-0 in Derby City Wrestling, his first victory by disqualification. If he can knock off Peter Avalon, what does that do for the stock of Robbie Walker in the United Wrestling Network, Steve? Listen, I was going to say 1-0, yes, but a win tonight would be worth more than just one. A win against Peter Avalon would put you out on the map it shines a big, bright, bold spotlight on primetime Robbie Walker. But right now, the only lights that, that Walker is seeing are the ones above the ring. Peter Avalon trying to ascend the top rope. High risk. There was no reward on that one. Cut off at the pass here by primetime Robbie Walker. Prime time wrestling to raise the stock in the United Wrestling Network with an OG moonsault here. Nobody home for pretty Peter Avalon. Avalon trying to restore, regain his dignity after losing 10 grand and not one, but two matches to Brian Myers. And Walker, you gotta go now, buddy. This could be a huge win for the career. Of prime time, Robbie Walker. Walker puts Avalon yeah. down. The leg is hooked. Will it be enough? There's two. And Peter Avalon still with some gas in the tank. You don't beat someone like Peter Avalon that easy. Easy? L listen. Are you, are you watching the same I'm thing? Wa I'm, watching I'm, watching, I'm watching it, but I'm just saying. It takes more than that. Fans here in the Norton Center beginning to rally behind primetime Walkie Robbie Walker. They know what is at stake for, for Walker here in a signature victory, a key victory against a vet, a United vet in, in pretty Peter Avalon. The win here could put Walker in, in TV title contention or heritage title contention. It, it raises his stock. I think it would. You say could. I mean, I, I think it absolutely does. To the top again. Walker! Look at the vertical leap. This could be dangerous. Oh, this is a long way up, and it's going to feel like an even further way down for Peter Avalon. Agony written all over the face of the pretty one. There's the cover, is this it? And no, 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 no. Foot on the bottom rope, look here, look here, look here. And what a veteran, a veteran spot, Manu, a veteran placement from Peter Avalon. He rolled to the ropes. That's what a veteran does. To learn that in California. Let's take another look at it. The superplex all the way from the top, and you see the agony, the pain written all over the face of Peter Avalon, but the veteran knew where he was at in the ring at all times, got that foot on the bottom rope. Back to the action, and Avalon with a super kick jacks the jaw of primetime Robbie Walker. 
Walker out of the way with the go behind. The tight waist here hits the rope. Peter Avalon holds on. Ro Robbie rolls through. Back and forth seesaw contest here with much at stake. Again, Walker trying to, uh oh, oh. Leg is hooked, there's two, that's three, that's it, that's it, that's it. showed his experience here tonight. 100%, and I'm not sure, but it looked like he might have had the rope there, but if that's what you're doing, that's how you get a win. That's how you get on track here at Derby City Wrestling. Good for Peter Avalon. We'll go back and show you the closing moments of this contest. It was Robbie Walker who had been the aggressor throughout much of this contest. He's trying to put Peter Avalon away, but the veteran Avalon holds on to the rope, then turns it around, puts shoulders on the mat for Walker. One, two, three, and Peter Avalon walks out.